Today we're going to be making this very simple small basket or pencil cup. And check the links in the description if you'd like to see how to make this matching pencil cup. And for this project, I'm working with the Lion Brand Yarns Re-Up Recycled Cotton and Polyester Blend. And these are both size 4 medium weight. And the colors are Full Moon and Mineral Springs. And we're also going to be working with a large 28 ounce can. And if you're interested in making this for a regular sized can, then please check the links in the description. And we're going to begin with a magic loop or a magic circle. So drape your tail over your working yarn and pinch that intersection. Then insert your crochet hook in the loop and yarn over and pull through. From here, we're going to chain two and then place 12 double crochets inside our magic circle. And when it comes to placing these double crochet stitches, make sure you're working them inside the loop as well as over your tail. And once you have your 12 double crochets, then pull on your tail to tighten the gap in your magic circle. From here, we're going to skip our chain two and then place one slip stitch in the top of our first double crochet. We're going to begin our next row with a chain two and then we're going to place two double crochets in each stitch in our row going all the way around and beginning with our next stitch in the row and ending with our slip stitch. So when you get to the end of your row, you should have a total of 24 double crochets. And at the end of our row, we're going to slip stitch into the top of our first double crochet. And we're going to begin row three with a chain two. Then we're going to place one double crochet in our next stitch and then two double crochets in the following stitch. And we're just going to continue that alternating pattern going all the way around our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of 36 double crochets. And at the end of our row, we're going to skip our chain two and slip stitch into the top of our first double crochet. And we're going to begin our next row with a chain two and then we're going to place one double crochet in our first two stitches and then we're going to place two double crochets in our third stitch and we're going to repeat that going all the way around our row and when we get done we should have a total of 48 double crochets. And at the end of our row, we are going to slip stitch into our first double crochet again. And for row five, we're going to chain one and then place one single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch in our row, starting with our following stitch and ending with the slip stitch at the end of the row. So we should have a total of 48 single crochets when we're done. And at the end of our row, we are going to skip our chain one and then place a slip stitch in the top of our first single crochet. And from here, we are going to cut and tie off our yarn. From here, we're going to attach our next color of yarn to our crochet hook using a slip knot. Go ahead and grab a hold of your tail and working in your next stitch of this row right beside where you cut and tied off your yarn, I want you to yarn over twice and then insert your crochet hook in that stitch. Then I usually switch to holding my tail with my other thumb. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull up through the stitch and then yarn over and drop two loops at a time for a triple crochet. And 
we're going to place one triple crochet in each of the following two stitches here. And now we want to work backwards in these three stitches here. So we're going to begin with the furthest stitch from our crochet hook and we're going to place a triple crochet there. And you're going to want to pull your work forward so that you're working these in front of the triple crochets that you just placed. Then you're going to work a triple crochet in the next stitch and the following stitch. And this following stitch will be your slip stitch. So now you can see that your stitches are crossing in front of each other like this. It helps if you pull that starting tail a little bit this way, like it will be when you get to the end of your row. From here, we're going to skip our next three stitches that we have not worked, and we're going to place one triple crochet in the following three stitches. Then again, you want to pull your skipped stitches forward like this so that you can work in front of those triple crochets. And beginning with the stitch furthest from where you are right here, you want to start placing your three triple crochets in those three skipped stitches. So we're just going to repeat that process going all the way around our row, skipping our next three stitches, placing a triple crochet in the following three stitches, and then working back in our three skipped stitches, working in front. And we're going to repeat that going all the way around our row, and we should have a total of eight of these sections. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just going to slip stitch into your first triple crochet. And from here, we're going to cut and tie off our yarn. And the process for this row is going to be really similar. We're going to go ahead and attach our yarn to our crochet hook. And so now I want you to find your first three triple crochets from the previous row. And we're just going to place one triple crochet in each of those three stitches, beginning with that first stitch where you already placed your slip stitch before. So now we want to just push these stitches forward like this and we're going to work our three triple crochets behind these three triple crochets we just placed. And again, we're going to start with the furthest stitch from where we left off. So now your stitches should look something like this. From here, we're going to skip our next three stitches that we haven't already worked and then place our three triple crochets in the following three stitches. Then again, we're going to push those three stitches forward and then place a triple crochet in each of these three skipped stitches. And so, like I said, the only difference in this row is that you're working your triple crochets behind your first set of triple crochets. So go ahead and repeat this process going all the way around your row. And at the end of your row, you're just going to slip stitch into your first triple crochet, and then we're going to cut and tie off our yarn again. 
From here, we're going to repeat that crisscrossing pattern until we have a total of 16 rows. And remember, you're going to alternate between working in front of and behind your first set of triple crochets, and you're going to want to start working in the first stitch of each row, which is the same stitch where you placed your slip stitch. And once you have your 16 rows, go ahead and insert your can and make sure you've hidden any tails that are on the inside. So now we're going to begin a decreasing pattern. So we're going to start with a chain two. And we're going to place one double crochet in our next two stitches here. And then we're going to double crochet together our third and our fourth stitch. So I'll show you how to do that. Once you have your two double crochets, then yarn over and insert your crochet hook in your third stitch and yarn over and pull up through. Then yarn over and drop two loops. From here, we're going to yarn over and insert our crochet hook in our fourth stitch and yarn over and pull up through. Then we're going to yarn over and drop two loops and yarn over and drop our three loops. So we're going to repeat that pattern going all the way around our row, placing one double crochet in our next two stitches and then double crocheting together our third and fourth stitch. And when we get done, we should have a total of 36 double crochets. And the last stitch of your row should be placed in your slip stitch. And from here, we're going to skip our chain two and slip stitch into the top of our first double crochet. For our next row, we're going to chain two and we're going to place one double crochet in our next stitch. And then we are going to double crochet together our following two stitches. And we're just going to repeat that alternating pattern going all the way around our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of 24 double crochets. And you should work your last stitch in the slip stitch at the end of the row. And at the end of the row, you're going to skip your chain two and place a slip stitch in the top of your first double crochet. And from here, we're going to chain two and we're just going to double crochet two stitches together going all the way around our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of 12 double crochets. And again, you're going to skip your chain two and place a slip stitch in the top of your first double crochet. Then you want to cut a tail of about one foot in length and tie off your yarn. From here, we are going to weave our tail in and out of our 12 double crochet stitches until we've gone all the way around the row. And we're going to pull on our tail to close up the gap in our circle at the top and then we're going to tie this off to secure it. And we're going to pull our tail to the inside until it's completely hidden on the inside of our sleeve. And then you're just going to tuck your sleeve back inside your can and flatten out the bottom. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.